How's it going? A friend of mine this morning asked if I had a clip explaining what aquaponics was so she could show a family member. So I had to say, sorry Edwina, we don't. So I thought I'd knock over a very quick one here. Um, it's not going to be a very professional one. Um, there's heaps of experts out there and I'll put a couple of links in the description below. They'll give you a far more detailed explanation. So I'll just run through quickly how I understand it to work. Aquaponics is basically the marriage of two different styles of growing. One is aquaculture, the raising of fish, and the other is hydroponics, the raising of plants in a soilless media using liquid fertilizers basically, or nutrient rich water. So in our case what we're doing is using fish to excrete ammonia into the water. That nutrient rich water is then going out into the grow beds. So I'll actually take you up and I'll explain it better. So we'll start off here with the fish. In our fish tank we use jade perch, they're a native to Queensland here, the Baku River system. They're also known as Baku grunters, they're a very good table fish. We've had five of ours and very impressed with them. Other people use silver perch, trout, bass in America and other places around the world. They use tilapia which is an excellent fish for aquaponics, very hardy. So what they do is the fish eat their food and from their gills they excrete a lot of ammonia and also through the other end they excrete ammonia and other solid waste as well. Now just quickly, we have a pipe in here. There's this pipe just down the front here that goes all the way to the bottom. What happens is solids collect on the bottom, they go up that pipe and then down into this filter. The solids settle out and then we can draw the solids out. I just wanted to explain that so people don't get confused about what that is. It's basically a filter to get the solids out to keep the water nice and clean. Over the back here, we have another pipe that takes water from the top couple of centimetres or inches of the, the fish tank and that water is very nutrient rich with the waste from the fish. So what it does is travel down here to our three grow beds. We have three grow beds, one over the back there and two here. So in these beds what we've got is a, a media. In our case it's a clay ball media. Other people use rocks, people use pea gravel, all sorts of things. But what that does is not only give the plants somewhere to anchor themselves, but it gives a home to the bacteria that are needed to change the ammonia in the water to more plant available nutrients. They're, the bacteria that are used in the system uh, occur naturally. They're in the air, they're in the soil. They're not something you have to buy and add to the system. Sometimes it can take a while for them to colonize and set up shop in there, but it's a case of you build it and they will eventually come. So there's two lots that are at work here. There's the nitrous ammonas that change the ammonia into another nitrogen element called nitrite. Nitrite is not as plant available as other forms and it's also toxic to the fish. So there's another bacteria called or group of bacteria called nitrobacter. They come in and they change the nitrite into nitrate. Nitrate is fairly benign at the levels in this system to fish and it's very plant available so the plant will take it up very easily. So that's part of the nitrogen cycle and when people talk about cycling their system when they start up a new system that's the cycle they're talking about. Just as a bit of an explanation on how the water travels around through the system it leaves the fish tank at the back there, goes down fills up these grow beds. These grow beds have got little siphons in them, little automatic siphons. Um, they're called bell siphons. There's a load of clips on YouTube so I won't get into how they work. But basically the bed fills up, creates a siphon in that little unit and then the bed drains and all the water goes down into this sump tank. It is pumped out by this pump here. This black line is connected to a pump, goes up the back there. It's connected actually just held on by bungee cord to the back of that pipe and then enters back through into the fish tank over there and then the cycle just goes round and round and round the fish foul the water, the water comes through here, goes through the filters otherwise known as grown beds the bacteria clean all the, the toxic um, nutrients out of the water goes back down into the sump tank, back up to the fish tank and I don't need to say that again so it pretty much all just goes round and round and round just quickly on the water quality side of things, I like the water in my fish tank to be replaced at least once every hour. What that means is the entire volume of that fish tank is running through these grow beds or filters at least once every hour. I actually think it's going through twice an hour. So it just means the water's nice and clean, the fish are kept happy and yeah, it, the system ticks along very nicely. There's other factors to take into consideration too when you do a setup like this. 
Um, just to show you a quick one, I've got some going over here. Water from municipal suppliers normally has a lot of chlorine in it and that is very toxic to fish. So what I do is I have a backup tank here when the water is used in the system. I top it up with this water. This has just been freshly filled. I like to circulate it. There's a pump down in there doing the hard work for me and that just gets all the chlorine out of the system. Then I can use it in here. If I put chlorine straight into the, uh, the fish tank or the sump tank, it would not only knock the fish around and probably kill them, but it would also kill the bacteria in the grow bed. Chlorine is put in our water supply to kill bacteria. It would just wipe those guys out. So there you go, there's my basic explanation on what aquaponics is. And a bit of a wander around the system just showing you how ours are set up. There's all those links in the description below to the free information online. Suss them out if you're looking at setting up your own aquaponics system. I've also got a couple of clips on our channel on the radial flow filter build, a few problems we've had, cleaning out the beds and that sort of thing. So suss them out if you want a bit of a look at how this system's gone together. Also too, we're changing the way the system's laid out and I'm going to be streamlining a few things and fixing a few things we're having issues with. So hopefully those clips will start making an appearance in a couple of months time, as well as a little aquaculture, straight aquaculture build we're going to be doing as well. So for the meantime, if you do have any questions on anything I've spoken about or the system and how it's laid out, just pop them in the comment section below along with any other comments or suggestions and I'll get back to you. And I better cut it off there otherwise I'm just going to bang on for hours so hope you all have a great one and take it easy catch ya